Hey guys, welcome back for another video. So there's an old saying, when you improve something, you'll simultaneously unimprove something else. I learned this the hard way as a photographer retouching faces. When you touch up a big zit over here, you notice a little one over here and on and on and on. Well, the same thing goes with home audio and home theater. So with making my room and environment really quiet for movies, now I'm hearing things that I couldn't before because they were too quiet and they were simply above the noise floor or below the noise floor. But what I'm hearing now <laughs> is my cooling fan system. So this is a great kit. It's 20 bucks for two variable speed fans. They're USB controlled. Oh, got a dripping light, gotta put that back up there. And you get this little fan control here and it's uh, USB powered, so you can plug it into anything you need and it works very well. On low, they are very quiet, but they're not like Noctua silent quiet, you know what I mean? And now I can hear them and I don't really hear fan noise. Alexa, turn on the cabinet fans. It's kind of like a low drone. I'll see if I can get it on video here for you. See, it's not much. It's not like any kind of high speed whine or anything like that. It's more of almost an air whoosh sound. So before I do anything, I do have some other fans to try and it's gonna be a custom wiring job if I have to do that, but I wanna pop these off. I just got them taped up with 3M tape so I can pop them off and I'm gonna stick them up on top and kind of elevate them a little bit and see if it's the just the sound of the air coming through these grates. So if it is, one solution would be to just take my Dremel, put something inside to catch the bits and just buzz off these little contact points here and pop out the center section. You know, that would be a nice easy fix. But if it's not, if it's the actual fan I'm hearing, maybe it's just the, the bearing noise, then I'm gonna swap in some Noctua's, which I don't really wanna do because they're stupid expensive. Like I said, this whole kit, both fans and controller, 20 bucks. The Noctua fans are like 25 a piece with no controller, <laughs> but they are truly silent. You just don't hear anything. So let's figure out uh, what's going on here. Let's take these off. Okay, with the fan out here and just kind of propped up so I'm not getting any turbulence, I can definitely hear the sound that I was detecting. And I think the cabinet might be kind of amplifying a little bit, maybe as a sounding board. So I'll try, well, the, the Noctua's that I'm putting on have rubber isolation feet, so that should eliminate anything like that. But I can still hear the, just the hum, you know, just a real light hum. So that's what we want to get rid of. Now, the other thing to note is it is entirely possible that I will be ordering another set of a Noctua fans because I had to guess at what kind of wiring we're dealing with here. All the specs for this kit say it's a PWM fan controller here, pulse width modulated, which I mean is possible technically, but usually those are twice the price of this whole kit alone. So I have my doubts, but I ordered a five volt Noctua 120 mil, uh, four pin pulse width modulated fan pair of them. So I have to cut this wire to actually see what we're dealing with. I'm gonna cut the one coming from the controller pretty close down here to this Y splitter. And then we'll junk these and just wire this up in parallel for the Noctua fans. So I got the old fans cut off. Place your bets as to what's inside this <laughs> single wire conductor here. Here's the first try of the Noctua's. We'll see if we can make something work. And as I suspected, positive and negative. So, there is a low voltage cable in here. Okay, so this five volt fan kit is different than what you typically get in the 12 volt. You don't have the four to three pin low speed adapter, which might be handy, uh, which I might actually have some spares of. But what we do have is this pretty handy little USB adapter, and it's just a simple two wire. So it's essentially the same thing that that is outputting, except whatever full voltage you're applying. We also have an extension cord here, which might be handy, but we can just wire our own because it's just two simple wires, especially if we're just coming from this. But this 
also means we can just plug this into the fan. We get one in each. So that'll give us a USB output or USB end on the end of each fan. And then we can just wire to, you know, whatever USB extension or hub even if I wanted to maintain voltage. So we got some options here for a nice clean wiring. We can even completely eliminate that old kit from the cabinet. Let me see what I got in my spare parts bin and we're gonna do some testing specifically on noise to RPM. So just a quick test here into a power pack. This is full speed and it's definitely too loud. It's a little bit louder than the original set there on low. It's way quieter than the old set on medium or high. That's day and night, but it's not silent. So we gotta pull this voltage down. Okay, here's the working plan. So I've already got in the cabinet now, two wires coming out of the voltage regulator, and that should be able to supply us three different voltages. One of them should be silent enough. Luckily, I'm not worried about airflow. The, the whole cabinet doesn't get that hot, but these, even on low, produce a lot of airflow, and these are the airflow version. That's another thing, if you buy Noctua, Tons and tons of options. They have pressure and airflow versions and they're totally different fans. These are the new generation airflow. So they do push a lot of air pretty much no matter what speed you're on. So digging through my spare parts here, some of them, <laughs> I found these two fan extension headers. So all we have to do is look on the USB adapter to see which two wires we want to basically use and then strip off one end, we'll connect this to the fans so I don't have to cut anything to do with the new fans just in case I want to return them or anything. We'll cut off this end connector and then we'll have two wires and we can put those together and then put those into the two that are still on the voltage regulator. So there are the extensions stripped and the leftmost wire should be ground and spliced together. Be really careful stripping wires this small, they're like 28 gauge. Automatic strippers can't grip them. I just use the cutter portion and just very slightly kind of shave them down. You don't want to break them. All right, got everything wired in just temporarily here. We'll button this up and make it look pretty if it works. Fans up here, elevated off, no wash. Alexa, turn on the cabinet fan. Now it's still on low, so it's an apples to apples comparison. dead silent. So for mounting, we've got these nice silicone anti-vibration pads. I've got tons of different colors. If it matters what they look like, you can change them or order a pack, but they are not going to stick well to the 3M tape. So I'm going to take the tape off so I'll have access to my mounting holes. And what I think I'll use is just the standard pull connectors that come with the fans. And then I'll just chop them off near flush with the top here so you won't even really see them. And if it bothers anybody, you can just color it with a Sharpie. That way I don't even have to bother with any of the screws. Just a quick note for anybody that wants to know how to use these weird looking connectors. I know for me the first time it was like using the three seashells, you know, just not gonna get it. It's a two-step process. You wanna put the smaller end from the inside of the case or whatever you're mounting to first and just pull it through until it pops. Basically you've got two sections here, this real thin section is where the case or the cabinet or whatever gets pinched and then the larger one underneath it is where the fan gets pinched. So you put these in ahead of time. You just pull it until it pops and sits there and they pop right back out if you want to pull it back out. You just give it a wiggle and it comes back out. It's not permanent and there's not much pressure on these and that's why they really help with vibration and noise damping. It's just barely holding the fan on. So now you put the fan on, it's a little awkward upside down here, much easier using them in a actual computer case. You just feed them through and the same thing. You just give the tips a little pull, push up on the fan at the same time as you do each one and it'll pop the fan and keep it right up there, just like that one over there. Okay, all wrapped up, got the wires tidied back up. And just to be clear, I did not need that extra part I grabbed out of my spare parts bin. I only did that in case I needed to swap the fans out and return them, but I could have just chopped off the end there of the extensions that came with the fans. So that's all you need that comes in the kit. Back to great cooling and nice and silent. So I cut these nubs off here. So you can't see them over the top. So dusty. Whisper. Good to go. 
hope it helps. See you next time.